Our next topic is about asexual propagation and nursery practices. Once again, I'm Janeline Bulawan and I'm your lecturer for this topic which we will tackle the natural and artificial vegetative propagation. First, we have, nat we have natural vegetative propagation, which is letter A. We have vegetative propagation by roots, which tuberous and develop adventitious buds, which grow in leafy shoots called the slips. Samples are radish and beets. Carrots and dahlia, which is has tubers, and tapioca or cassava. So for the letter B, which is vegetative propagation by stems. So aerial weak stems, like runners and stolon, when touch the ground, give off adventitious roots. When, when the connection with the parent plant is broken. The portion with the newly struck roots develops into an independent plant, which creates the bulbs. Samples are onions. For the corms, which is colocasia, adashin, or ataro. And the offsets, which is ichornia. And for the rhizome, the ginger. For the soccer, the banana. And for the stolons, which is the strawberry. And for the tuber, which is the potato samples. And for the letter C, which ha we have vegetative propagation by leaves, which is a bryophyllum plantlets are produced from the notches of the margin of intact leaves, still attached to the parent plant. Other species of bryophyllum the leaves must be detached or injured before plantlets rise. So that's the examples of bryophyllum. We, so for the letter D, we have vegetative reproduction from reproductive organs, which is in agave. An example, which is the flower bud becomes modified structure called called bulbils, and bulbils are fleshy storage food in the floral leaves and drop from the parent plant to the ground to give out adventitious roots and develop into a new plants. So that's the example of the family of agave. So we have our second is the artificial vegetative propagation which is the combining the good qualities of two different varieties propagating the desirable variety of plant economically with the least attention in a comparatively shorter time. So, it is well explained that uh, by using this process, using this, as, using this artificial vegetative propagation, you can earn more money and you can have combining qualities of different varieties which you want to achieve based on its characteristics. So first we have cuttings or the cottage. B is air layer layerage or the marketing. C is the graftage or grafting. D is separation. E is division. And last is the tissue culture. So for the cottage, it is the missing organ is allowed to regenerate on detached vegetative part so that a complete plant is formed. Types of cuttings are root cuttings, stem cuttings, and leaf cuttings. So you can cut then and replant. So that's the purpose of cuttings. Letter B, which is the air layerage or the marketing, is the rooting a shoot or branch which is still attached to the mother plant and then later separating the rooted shoot or the branch to become a new plant. Um, for the process for marketing, we have uh, we need to have some wet soils, especially the black ones, which is easily to penetrate in the root systems. You need to cut one inch as possible for the uh, for cutting the cambium layer and 
is cropping down the the slimy part of the cambium and then put the the soil and then cover with cellophane and use the rubber band to fully close the part so you need to have most of the plants used in in marketing are citrus plants which if you use a naa you can you can separate it and detach it from the mother plant during uh, 14 days after 14 days which shown with which it is already shown uh, roots and if not you if not, you don't use a naa. You will wait for 21 days if it is too fully rooting. And for the letter C, we, ha we have graftage. The process of this graftage is we need some root systems or the root stocks or the seedlings, which we can use the native one after seedling from the fruit trees and other. Um, varieties and we need some scion from the hybrid one we need to attach them used by the process for the graftage um, the cleft the saddle and the splice which is the simple one we need to wrap it with the cellophane as much as possible and make sure the the cuts are only one inch to secure um, to easily heal the wound of the branches so for the separation it is a using naturally detachable organs from the mother plant as planting materials which is applicable for plant having modified organs so you need to separate the the other plants which which is can be naturally detached to the mother plants and transplant it or transfer it into another pots and for the letter E we have the division so the cutting the modified organ into sections or pieces with each piece having at least two buds so if you having the two buds you need to cut the other You need to divide it and replant uh, to another pet. So last is the tissue culture, which is a small amount of tissue from a suitable part of the parent plant and its size and grown on nutrient medium under aseptic conditions. So as we inoculate bananas for plant tissue culture, we we follow the mixture of the Morashiga and Skug mixture and we use it for the banana suckers which is the Lakaten. So the tissue then develop into an undifferentiated mass of cells called the callus and a small portion of the callus tissue is transferred to another suitable nutrient medium where they develop and differentiate into small plantlets. So after the medium has been um, processed, you have 21. So after 21 days, you need to uh, you need to subculture the the plantlets into another bottle because 21 days um, the nutrients has been consumed by the plantlets inside the bottle so after the sixth subculture we need to transfer it for the rooting purposes then after the one month for 21 days to 28 days of rooting stage we need to harden the bottles with the plants of course harden for two weeks and then after you need to uh, transplant it in the pots or the polyethylene bugs 
and then wait for another month before it will be transfer transferred and transplanted into the field. And that's all. So these plantlets are being transplanted in pots or soil and develop into mature plants. And that's all for the topic, for the introduction, for the uh, sexual propagation in nursery practices, especially in the topic for natural and artificial vegetative propagation. So follow for the second part. Thank you.